As your John the Beloved, I come with my Beloved to be with you this morning, to emanate frequencies of the crystal rays manifesting as perfect love wisdom. And as these rays coalesce within your hearts and minds, the quintessences of God and all of their magnanimity and divine glory. You are raised to a new level of cosmic harmony and peace. And there is impressed within you, dearest ones, the virtuous offerings of heaven for you to assimilate and to master. For in this interesting time that you live, it is imperative that you raise your awareness above and beyond the inanities and the insanities of the machinations of those who seek to keep you caught in a mold and in a web of illusion. The only way out is up and within, into the realms of divine light, where God's glory supplants all that would activate within you negativity and darkness. Love is the key to every dilemma that you experience that you witness that comes your way. For within love, God has embedded the answer to all that you could know if indeed you desire the inner walk in the light and the transcendence beyond human limitation, desire, with all of its suffering, anxiety, and pressure. Those of you who serve in the healing professions know that change is necessary, conscious change, transformational change to move beyond disease and what will eventually bring you into the crux where you must choose life over death, virtue over evil. And when you abide in presence, you feel your wholeness coming from within you, and you experience the totality of divine wellness welling up within you, then every form of discomfort, all anxiety, all lack and want from the human level dissolves, is transmuted, and replaced with the essence of perfection, a new joyful attitude of grace, a beingness in God that allows you to experience your true self, your divine nature again. Yes, the pressures of life weigh upon your soul if you allow them to. Allow your spirit to soar above and beyond that domain which is limiting 
and is less than what God has planned for you. And experience the comprehensive and magnanimous divine graces of heaven, which will afford you entree into the new blue you, blue representing God's will highlighted with joy. God's virtues on the first ray coming into a new perspective, a new attitude, a new dynamic of light love within your heart, your mind, your will. You may enter your prescient self, which sees and beholds all even before outer circumstances transpire, karma manifests physically. Seeing from this level, you avoid many negative opportunities to react and to thrust forth with your ego to do this or that which does not serve you in the highest order. With love and with conscious participation with the angels on high and the divine beings that light your world with that love wisdom of Aquarius, you may experience all that is predestined for you to enjoy of godliness, of harmony, of inner peace, through your sacred walk in your presence and your communication with the divine, which has always been alive within your inner self. Now as your lady fair grace appears before you to your inner vision, she brings to each of you an essence of self-realization as the antidote to godlessness and ignorance. And within the ampule that she serves each of you now, as you take it or receive it from her and imbibe it within your being, there is the restoration of God consciousness manifesting in a new and higher vibratory field and divine order. If you have felt of late a certain discombobulation in your mind, grasping to understand what is transpiring and temporarily entering into a state of unknowingness or even fear, this antidote will serve you well and reconfiguring your consciousness to be in alignment with your solar selfhood, your true nature, reality itself. And here you may experience true love and all of its gracefulness, beauty, and harmony. You may experience the wholeness of simply being natural, aligned with Mother Nature, returning to first principles and values, and having restored unto you through that original blueprint of your divine selfhood, an understanding of all that is essential to know 
for your virtuous life lived to God's glory. In Jesus' presence, I learn so much about how to live within the presence of the living Christ consciousness. As we absorbed that higher awareness, living near and dear to Jesus, the man, through his own Christic presence, we were raised and to a new level. Yet it required that we maintain inner peace and harmony to have that light resonating within our auras as it did in his. And it was a great work to maintain that presence, that consciousness at all times even amidst the challenges of confronting human darkness, evil through the Sanhedrin and the Pharisees who sought to quash our mission, the mission of the Christ manifest through the man, Jesus. So we abided in that presence. So we felt the love of the Holy Spirit gracing all who came within his aura of light. We felt the healing energies as they were impressed again and again into and around and within the lives and the body temples of hundreds. And we saw the effects of transformational change as the light of forgiveness was wielded by this great master to coalesce the violet fire within their worlds, transmuting ignorance, delusion, the maya, even of self-abnegation, where people would deny who they are as God-men or women. He restored into them the sense of their presence and of God within, for truly that kingdom moved through him among all to bless them and charge them with the holy radiances of the Piscean dispensation of God mastery during his time, yes, his short time with us. And though he moved on to other spheres and taught many thousands around the world through his appearances and his tangible light presence in their lives, we attempted to carry on his mission. And some of us, receive the revelatory teachings either directly from him or from an angel of light serving the Christ awareness among all mankind. And you have the testament, you have the truth, even though the scriptures have been manipulated and many of the inner mysteries have been obfuscated so that the masses do not have the pure, real teachings that he presented. There is still enough within the New Testament to give you the essences of his message and the antidotes to nihilism and self-annihilation. Precious ones, now as Lady Fair Grace also bestows a blessing upon each of you, it will result in, if you choose to accept it, a greater change in understanding your psychology and mastering 
the initiations upon your path and as self-realizing who you truly are as a God-man or God-woman, an embryo, and now coming to fulfillment and true maturity on your evolutionary journey to the sun. As I breathe the breath of the Holy Spirit's grace upon you each one this day, love is restored in its greatness and its virtue and its ability to keep you living within the light field of your virtue body, your causal body of light. And as you attempt to harmonize and balance all within this lifetime, every day, every hour, I am there, we are there for you to hallow that love field of light within your aura and life. To existentially allow you to live beyond human chaos, illusion, and darkness. Enter this light field now of pure divine love. Feel the resonance and the equanimity of its holy vibrations to keep you locked and loaded in God's presence ever aware of your mission through higher vision and through intrepid seeing of the real within everyone and everything by your conscious choice to so behold it. By simply allowing heaven to descend into your midst each day through holy prayer through virtuous singing, through silent meditation and inner stillness, you will know the logoic wisdom of the Christ, the cosmic Christ, even Lord Maitreya, as well as the world teachers. And you will experience the dynamism of personal self-discovery as revelation after revelation you experience more of your divine selfhood and the mysteries being revealed unto your hearts and minds are opened so that you may always know God and God's eternal presence in your midst. Dearest ones, heaven is real. And as you make earth real through heaven's graces incorporated within your lives and your sacred work, I am there, balancing, adjusting, transmuting all so that the fulfillment may bring you peace and joy, inner happiness, free of anxiety and pressure, of pain and negative thoughts and feelings. Imagine a world of all light, all love, all levity. Stay there, experience it, and refresh yourselves in its invigorating divine fires and blessings. By doing this, you actually help all to live fully in that same light of virtuous love.
Peace, be still, and know I am God within, now and ever, through holy love. Thank you.